Hello guys, welcome to sscacademy.com. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about the introduction to ANSYS machine. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the process for pre-processing using ANSYS tools, what is the ANSYS machine and machine fundamentals. Then we are going to learn about how to launch ANSYS machine. Then ANSYS machine interface. Then geometry concepts and and the various methods by which the machine is possible in ANSYS for the various type of components. In which first of all we are going to discuss about the pre-processing workflow. The basic pre-processing workflow is in this format. First of all you have to import the geometry. First of all you have to import the geometry and create the geometry. Then imported or created geometry will be modified. After that you have to create a mesh model of that geometry. And after creating meshing you can solve the engineering problem. Today's our topic is about ANSYS meshing. In meshing there are meshing methods, hybrid mesh, tetrahedron, prism and pyramids are considered as a hybrid mesh. Then hexahedron meshes in which the hex dominant and sweep meshing methods are considered. And at the end, assembly meshing, which is considered as a moderate meshing in mesh method. Then there is other two things are global mesh settings and local mesh settings, in which you can sizing and control the various nodes and then elements for the required meshing conditions. Now, first of all, what is ANSYS meshing is a component of ANSYS workbench. Meshing platform combines and builds on strengths of reprocessing offering from ANSYS with the given modules CFD, T grid fluent meshing, CFX mesh and gambit able to adapt and create meshes for different physics and solvers mainly there are three types of solvers cfd mechanical and electromagnetic and for that the ansys meshing is most preferable in engineering problem solution techniques integrate directly with the other web services or systems. Then meshing fundamentals. In meshing fundamentals, we are going to discuss the purpose of the mesh. So what is the purpose of the mesh? Equations are solved at cell per nodal location. Domain is required to divide into a discrete cell. In this figure you can see there is a meshing of tetrahedron type is carried out and mesh requirements are shown over here. There is a basic mesh requirements are efficiency and accuracy and quality. Now efficiency and accuracy are refined smaller cells for high resolution and gradients and fine geometry details. Chorus mesh, large cells elsewhere in medium and there is a less large cell than chorus mesh and in fine there is a smaller cells as compared to both others now the quality quality is depend on solution accuracy and stability deteriorates as mesh cells deviates from ideal shape now the basic meshing process in ANSYS meshing Specify global mesh settings, insert local mesh settings, preview and generate mesh, and then check mesh quality. 
these are the main four steps of meshing process in global mesh setting you can provide the physics sizing inflation and pinch these are provision in the specified global mesh setting step then in insert local mesh setting there is a sizing refine pinch and inflation are done and then preview and generate mesh is consider there is a two step preview of surface mesh and inflation for checking the mesh quality mesh matrix and charts are going to be going to be checked launching ansi meshing how to launch an ansi meshing that i will show in you the ansi workbench window first of all you have to open the ansi workbench window then you have to go for the component system and at which you have to click on the mesh you can see over here there is a mesh over here then you have to create a geometry using new design modeler in our case i am going to create a simple cylinder just for example how to create an meshing over here a geometric modeler window will be opened over here at which first of all you have to select the plane where you are wanted to create a geometry then go for the sketching over here we are selecting in millimeter to create a cylinder first of all select the circle create a circle then go for the dimension a general dimensions select a circle and define the dimensions in our case it was a 50 mm diameter then go to the extrude command and define the depth of the cylinder we are here providing a depth of 150 mm over here you can see that wireframe structure of cylinder is created now you have to generate the cylinder and observe that solid component is created over here then save your project in your required folder in my case i am going to save over here in tutorial give a name as a meshing 1 and save now next step is meshing do a right click on it and then go for the edit there is a mesh window is going to be opened over here it will take some time to show you the window on display now our meshing window is opened here our geometry is imported progress you have shown then a global coordinate system i will show over here you can see our geometry in solid form now our next step is how to do a mesh to do a particular component mesh first of all you have to define the details in the mesh detail table at which first of all you have to provide the physical preference in our case it's a mechanical component we have selected the mechanical then you have to provide the sizing as per your requirement if you need a larger size of elements you can provide a chorus if you need a lower size of element you can provide medium and fine we have required a fine size element size you can provide over here as per your requirement in our case we are provide a 1 mm next is the span angle center that is also you can define chorus medium and fine form smoothing also you can define over here low medium high in our case we provide a medium as we have previously discussed that patch conforming option you can control over here and provide the required data setting over here same as patch independent if required then yes if not required then no in our case we don't in our case we don't require the patch independent options advanced settings are over here mesh morphing then 
dimensional reduces straight size elements if required then yes element mid side nodes that you are also change as per your requirement stated trick shows the nodes and number of elements over here and the difference that you can ob observed by changing your type of element to change the type of element you have to go to the mesh control at which click on the methods and you can define the method as per your requirement for that first of all you have to select the component then apply the geometry and select the method for meshing the here you can see that there is a tetrahedron hex dominant sweep and multi zone methods are shown over here tetrahedron is most preferable for the curvature type of surface components and hex dominant is most preferable for the straight components sweep is also good method of meshing for the application of pipe or vessel design of required design standard and multi zone is the assembly meshing requirement of meshing technique over here we are going for the automatic mesh in which we have provided the data and select the component and after provision of data you have to right click on mesh and generate the mesh the progress you can observe or monitor over here in which mathematical calculations are carried out and meshing for the same component and for the provided data is completed after completion of this progress result it will take some time to complete a mesh because in our case we have selected the fine mesh with 1 mm you can see there is a hex components are shown over here now to see the internal structure of this meshing you have to first cut the section and you can see that how internal structure of meshing is generated then you can also see the whole element of surface that i have shown you over here you can see that how the internal structure is obtained remove section you can see your component and then save your project thank you friends thank you very much